Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to talk to you today about Muse cells. We have physicians out there who claim to be isolating and using these clinically. So what are Muse cells and what's up with this? Muse stands for multi-lineage stress enduring. The key word here is stress because at the end of the day, these are the cells in your body that become activated only under extreme circumstances of stress and duress. They live in many tissues, including bone marrow and fat. And some physicians claim to be isolating and using these cells clinically. However, isolating and activating mu cells means exposing fat or bone marrow to very harsh conditions that kill all other viable cells. So let's take this little snippet from this 2013 paper on mu cells. The material was then subjected to severe cellular stress. They basically did everything but nuke these cells. This included long incubation with collagenase, which is a uh, chemical that can destroy cells. Low temperatures, low serum and hypoxia, meaning low oxygen. And the purpose was to kill all the other cells and release these mu cells. So the bottom line is that you've got to really treat cells in a very harsh manner so that other cells die to get mu cells to start working. So is it likely that in a same day procedure that mu cells are being activated and used clinically? Absolutely not. These are extremely difficult cells to activate. They only get activated when you kill other cells and they will activate in that process of those extremely harsh conditions. So bottom line is, this is more fiction than fact. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And for more information on this and other cell therapy topics, see Regenix.com.